summer for me is the warmest, brightest, and tastiest season of all. I cannot say it's the most beautiful, as here spring and autumn are competing for the first place in my heart, but definitely summer brings a lot of taste enjoyment to everyone. After berry season in early summer comes a pear feast in mid-July, and here only a lazy soul doesn't use a possibility to enjoy. Going to see Majuta now because she's in a faraway field starving for wonderful, sweet, juicy, nectary pears. And maybe even I will add up some apples to her bucket of candy. I call them candies because they are sweet and sour and wonderful for her. She loves them so much. But I don't want, I don't want to make it too heavy for myself. Majuta loves pears and apples most of all, and I do enjoy the sounds that she makes while eating them and the anticipation in her eyes. It gives me a sense of fulfillment when I can be kind to nature. She moves through us the same way as the wind flies through the wings of the birds. She blushes with the berries when she feels happy and she creates so many different forms of life constantly. The flowers on her plants are like thousands of gentle fragrant lips that are giving kisses to everyone in return for their kindness. And the fruits are the taste of those sweet kisses. I like planting all sorts of berries in my garden. This way I can always experiment and have a bouquet of taste in my mouth or my plate, starting from early summer with strawberries and finishing with the cold season raspberries. This year butter peas were producing very abundantly and let's say we will not have a shortage of those in hot winter soups. Apples, pears, plums, it's the season and the year for those, so many of them. And have you ever heard of tapinambur or the ground pear? Mine grows like crazy, must be the soil or cow's manure, I have never seen them so tall. And here's calendula, the anti-inflammatory plant. It stops the fire in our body, yet still, it glows like fire itself.
I like preparing my own teas for the cold season. It is organic, it is healthy, tasty and very, very beautiful. Marigold Petal Tea is my new discovery of the year. Mixed with fireweed and calendula, it gives an impression of sweet honey cookies, which I ate in my childhood. We call them medovy prianiki. I also like pears, and so does my husband, so I made a goal this year to preserve as many fruits as possible. And while my cooking campaign is running, why not pickle some veggies as well? Horseradish leaves, parsley, I like making a mix, so when the winter comes and we desire pickled veggies, here they are, all in one jar. It is the mixture of soft juicy tomatoes, crunchy summer cucumbers and crispy beans. As I don't eat garlic and onions, I still need to make them a bit spicy so I use a variety of peppers. Sometimes, actually most of the times, when I cook, I watch a video or listen to the music. And I like to have fun sometimes, as otherwise this repetitive process during the month can get rather boring. In August, I would say, my food preservation and harvesting marathon begins and it ends only in the end of October. It is the hardest time psychologically, as many times I want or I wish turns into I must. I must do this because I don't want to support pesticides in our food, chemicals in our veins and energetical pollution of our hearts. I'd rather perform the austerities of homesteading and self-sufficient life then surrender to the system of big marketing, genetic modification and infertile hopelessness. But hey, let's get back to the fun stuff. A little shamanic dance to finish the magic of preservation. Voila, it's finally done. So let's get finally back to pears and change the sound to something more active, otherwise you will just fall asleep. Actually, right now pears are kind of getting self-sufficient anyway and now that they are sugar they have to stand for 6 hours, which leaves me some time to satisfy my culinary desires right now. Home-baked, fresh bread, vegetarian sausage, my cows, violence-free, soft, herb-sprinkled cheese, homemade butter in divine yellow color, and golden honey tomatoes. Oh yeah, and a pinch of Himalayan salt seasoning with turmeric, nettle, asafoetida and black sesame seeds. Now some homemade lemonade and I am off to a well-deserved lunchtime rest. Ah, oh, what a bliss! That's my TV! Thank <laughs> you.